Hello everyone and welcome back to the 7th game in the Lesker birth match. And so far Lesker was leading with 4 points, Bird has 0 points. The first player to score the 7th win is going to be victorious in this match. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Bird has the white pieces, Lesker has the black pieces in game number 7. So far Bird always lost when he had the white pieces. So let's see what happened in this chess game. So Bird always played with the bird opening. But this time he changed his plan. He played e4. Maybe he realized that playing the bird's opening against Lesker was not a good idea. So Lesker was well prepared against the bird opening. e6 and Lesker is playing the French defense against d4. d4, d5. Knight to c3, knight to f6, bishop to g5, bishop to e7, exchanging. And now after castling, advancing. Lesker is defending the bishop, developing the bishop and c5 which is pretty ordinary. D takes on c5, bishop takes on c5. And also Henry Edward Bird castled. Knight to c6, a3, a6, knight to e2, f6, and challenging the pawn. Maybe capturing the pawn was a better idea. But now in this position, Bird is pushing the pawn, bishop goes back, and this harmless position is actually pretty dangerous for white. This harmless looking position is actually looking dangerous. It is dangerous. Can you see why this position is not actually harmless at all? So in this position bird is threatening to... Lesker is threatening to take the pawn. And he is going to be a pawn up. So in this position, Bird captured the pawn. E takes on f6, Bishop takes on f6, and now Lesker is attacking the rook with a tempo. After defending the rook, Lesker pushed the pawn with a big center. Lesker has the center, and he is threatening to play e4, forking the bishop and the knight, and that is losing a piece. So this is why this position was actually not harmless at all. After e takes on f6, again capturing the pawn with a tempo, white must defend the rook and then pushing the pawn and how to save yourself, how to save a piece. So if moving the knight, pushing the pawn and that is trapping the bishop, so there is no time. What now? Lesker has the big center and you really don't want to give Lesker a strong center, so Lesker was a very strong player. And in this position, he has the edge. Well, Bird found this move. B5. Okay, this is saving the piece. Defending the threat against. Pushing the e-pawn and losing a piece. But this is actually losing a pawn. Rook takes on a3. And Lesker is a pawn up. And he has the advantage. Bird changed his plan. He played e4, but this is also losing for Bird. Queen to c1, defending the rook, rook to d1, king to h8. Well, maybe in this position, bird is threatening to play bishop to c4, and the pawn is pinned. And if capturing the bishop, then rook takes queen. So, moving the king away. This is what Lesker saw, king to h8, so there is no bishop to c4. Knight to g3, bishop to e6, c4 by bird. But simply advancing by Lesker. Rook to e1, targeting the weak looking pawn, queen to c7, extra defense, knight in, bishop in, c5, knight back, rook in, bishop takes on e4, rook takes on e4, knight to e6, defending the pawn with pushing. But in this position, Lesker could simplify the game, but he played b6, pushing the pawn, so. Knight is going to land on c5. Knight is coming, so rook to e1, knight to c5, queen to c4. But now it looks like a blunder. Lesker, it looks like he forgot that his pawn was under attack. So after pushing the pawn, was this actually losing a pawn? Or maybe this was a deliberate sacrifice by Lesker. So in this position, Lesker played queen to e5. 
and moving the knight is not possible because if moving the knight, then capturing the rook. So I'm pinning the knight, rook to d2, but now here comes another killer move. Lesker played knight to d3, disconnecting the knight with the rook, attacking the knight with the queen, attacking the rook, and disconnecting the knight with the rook. So this is why in this position we have knight to e6, not even defending the rook. But let's take it back. If something like rook to b1, then queen takes knight and this is losing a piece. And actually rook takes on d3 is not working. Because black can simply capture the rook. And if rook takes on e5, then here comes bank. The back rank checkmate threat. Rook takes on e1. Checkmate. White is getting checkmated and there is back rank threat. So actually bird has also a problem with his back rank. But now bird is fighting for his dear life also attacking the rook. Is this the solution? Well, Lesker captured the rook and we have rook day 2. If capturing the rook, then actually white is losing by force because of checking the king with the knight. So, after knight to f3, g takes on f3, checking the king, king to g2, queen to g5, king to h3, checking the king. Well, how to defend? King to g3 and rook to g1, checkmate. As you can see, white is actually getting force checkmated. So after capturing the rook, we have rook to a2 and then knight to d3. g3 finally giving the flight square to the king. But in this position, if capturing the rook right now, then there is back rank threat once again. Queen to a1, this is check. Sacrificing the queen for checkmating the king. Rook takes on c1. Checkmate. So, g3 and then rook takes on a2. Queen takes on a2. Queen takes bishop. Knight takes on f8. Simplifying the game. And Lesker also captured bird's pawn. And Lesker is a piece and a pawn up. And this is losing for Henry Edward Bird. Let's get his a piece up, but Bird didn't resign. Also, Queen to C1 is coming. Queen in. But this is actually losing by force for Henry Bird. Let's get checks the king. King to G2, checking the king. These moves are all force moves. Queen to H6, King to G4, Queen to G5, King to H3. The only move. And Let's get checks the king one final time. And after this move. Henry Edward Bird resigned. Because Bird is getting checkmated and this is the only defense. G4. So the knight is holding the escape square. After G4, queen to F3, checkmate. There is no defense for white. White is getting checkmated. Okay, so this was the beautiful chess game between Lesker and Bird. And Lesker defeated Bird for the fifth time, I believe. And the first player to score the seventh win is going to be victorious in this match. So there is only one more victory left, for, two more victory left for Lesker to eliminate his opponent, to defeat his opponent. And so far, Bird has never defeated Lesker in this match. So you can see that Lesker was pretty strong. Even at this time, actually at this time Lesker was only 20. It was the beginning of Lesker's colorful chess career. But Lesker was defeating his experienced opponent pretty easily. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.